So in this Elden Ring video guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this battle hammer. It is an absolute must get, it isn't too hard if I'm honest with you, and today I'll guide you through each step. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this is a reward for defeating a boss within the Merc Water Catatombs. Now, this actual Catatombs, this Merc Water Catatombs is located on the map right here. So if you come to the Merc Water Coast, it's just north of this. You can see right here, there's actually a site of grace inside this Catatombs, which is a lot easier, but you actually have to get there first. So come to where I am on the map and follow the route I take. Now you have to jump down here. I mean, I died a couple of times trying this. I mean, there's probably another way down, an easier way down. But from where I am and where I come to, it's just the easiest point. So upon you jumping down, you can actually run through these enemies. I decided to slay half of them and I give up and just run straight to the, the uh, Merc Water Catatombs. But you can do what you like, that's completely up to you people. Now once you are in here, you will be confronted by some weird looking trolly gnome sort of things and there's quite a few of them in here i think there's six in total but if you're patient with yourself and just dodge and can battle you'll take these out no problem whatsoever so once you take these out guys you'll see a couple more be warned of the trap on the floor if you stand on it. You'll shoot out fire arrows towards you and they hit pretty hard. So yeah, take out these enemies and then just activate this lever. Upon activating this lever guys, you'll open another door so come back on yourself and head down these steps and go towards this door there will be a couple more enemies here which you can actually run straight past and run straight for the door go through the door and you'll have to enter the mist and then you'll come up against the boss so the boss is grave warden duelist and he does hit like a tank i won't lie to you now, if you die, you will actually spawn at the site of grace right at the start of this uh, this dungeon, shall we call it. And you can run straight down here. You can avoid all enemies. You don't have to activate the lever again. You can run straight back down here. Now, the way I defeated him and did it quite easily was using the spirits of my wolves. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I've got a video on my channel showcasing to you how you can actually summon spirits. The wolves just draw his attention and you can just chop him up from behind. It is that simple, guys. Don't have to be any high level at all. I mean, I think I did this at a level 12 or 13, so nothing crazy whatsoever. But yeah, if you summon the wolves, they draw his attention and you just take him out from behind. It is that easy, guys. And he should be rewarded with some amazing, great acts. And well, guys, that is it. I hope the video helps you out. Now, you will need a, I think it's for me anyway, I need to be a strength of a 23 before I can actually wield this great axe, but that's what I'm working on now. Because I can't wait to splatter people with this thing, I really can't. But yeah guys, just one of many, many different weapons you can find hidden throughout this game. And I hope the video helped you out. If you want to see more Elden Ring from me, make sure you subscribe and hopefully guys, I'll see you on that next one.